What's going on, everybody? It's Elamar Deshay, and I am Iowa's Finest, and I'm back with another one. I figured today would be a good day to give y'all an update on my apartment in Dallas, all right? Uh, as you can see, my blinds is fixed. Uh, hey, <laughs> this is what it is. My blinds is fixed, all right? I finally got, I can open and close that shit. That's a good one. All right, finally, you know, that took a couple a couple days, goddamn, to get fixed. What else? Um, okay. The lights, I hope the light don't fuck this video up. All right. So everything else is cool. Um, I've killed probably four roaches. Okay. Four roaches. That ain't bad. Um, I got some boric acid. Somebody told me that was uh, something good to put down. I ain't seen nothing since then. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, crazy thing is, back in Iowa, roaches aren't like a thing like they are in Texas. Like, if you got roaches in Iowa, you just fucking dirty. All right, but growing up, I don't think I ever really saw any roaches in anybody's house um, back in Iowa. So now I know that roaches in Texas are like house flies in Iowa. It's cool. I ain't, I ain't tripping though. As long as they leave me alone, I ain't got no problems. Um, so yeah, remember I told y'all about the sink and the washer and dryer? I'm gonna update y'all on that. This video is gonna be real fucking quick, okay? So last video I made, you know, I kept telling y'all, like, supposed to get a washer and dryer, right? The water didn't work. Update, they fixed the water, but they didn't fix the leaky sink. The fucking sink still leaks, all right? Over this past weekend, you know what happened? Look, I'm gonna show y'all. See that floor over there? That whole floor right about was goddamn a puddle, all right? My shit flooded over the fucking weekend, all right? And then the apartment that I live in, I ain't gonna say the name until I move out because if this video get leaked and they, they see it, they might start fucking with me or not fixing nothing. <laughs> so I ain't gonna tell y'all the name of this apartment until I move out, all right? So over the weekend, that shit flooded. So I called an emergency number on the, the website. You know, it's like, do you have an emergency? That shit went straight to voicemail. I'm like, God damn, I'm in here fucking in my kitchen flooding. And I feel like Noah, I got to fucking part the goddamn Red Sea. You feel me? Damn, I look cockeyed as fucking that up close like that. I got to part the goddamn Red Sea with my towels. All right, and y'all not even going to answer the phone? I had to put a fucking one of one of my only two bulls under the motherfucking sink to stop that motherfucker from leaking. I ain't that some shit. Hmm. It is what it is though. Like I said, this is my first experience, bro. Living on my own in a new city, and this was the hardest shit I ever did. Like I told you, I didn't spend all of my fucking money. I'm talking about all of it. I have like three dollars in my bank account right now. I mean, I get paid on Friday, but shit, this last month. Whew, been a struggle. Um, I've been shopping at Winco. Man, I love Winco. That was the first time I ever been to a Winco coming down here. Anyways, I'm gonna update y'all. Remember, like I said, oh, the washer and dryer. Oh, okay. We got that situation taken care of. So come on, let me show y'all. All right, hope the light, hope the light don't throw y'all off. Remember the spot where the washer and dryer was supposed to be? Bam! Ain't shit there still. You wanna know where it's at? Here, let me show you. Hmm. Let me show y'all where the washer and dryer is at. Sitting in my fucking living room. Tell me, does this shit make any sense? All right, I'm paying fifty dollars a month for a washer and fucking dryer, right? Fifty dollars a month, and it take them goddamn two weeks to deliver this shit. Then they deliver this shit yesterday while I'm at work, and they leave that motherfucker right there. All right, they didn't even like bother dragging it over here and hooking that bitch up. So I text them today while I'm at work, like, is anybody gonna fucking hook this motherfucker up? You know what they did? They didn't even fucking respond. Ain't that some shit. And the crazy thing is, they told me they was gonna deliver this shit last Thursday. So they calling me while I'm at work, right? The apartment complex, and then they gonna shoot me a text like, hey, they're here to, to deliver your washer and dryer. So I text back like, okay, you can go ahead and just you know, go in there. It's cool. So I come home on Thursday. There ain't no fucking washer and dryer. Hmm? So I got to go to the office Friday morning. 
So I go into the office and I'm talking to the girl who told me when I moved in that everything was beautiful. She said everything was fine, right? So I, I, I asked her like, you guys was texting me and calling me while I was at work yesterday. Why, you know, what happened to the washer and dryer getting delivered? You know what the fuck she gonna tell me? Let me zoom in a little bit. She's gonna say, oh, well we didn't have an extra key to get into your apartment. So we're gonna need you to go to Walmart and make a copy of your key and bring it to us. What type of dog shit is that? I ain't never fucking heard of an apartment complex having one fucking key for the apartment. And if you want an extra key so they can deliver your fucking washer and dryer, you gotta go to Walmart. And she said, if you don't want to, then you can pay us an extra $25 and then we can get to it later on. What time? You know what? I said, I ain't renewing, I ain't tell her that, but I'm like, oh, I ain't finna renew my lease here. Ain't this some dog shit? Have, have any of y'all ever heard of paying for a washer and dryer that take two weeks to get here and, and they tell you that everything good in your apartment and it's supposed to be back there and now they want me to pay them $25 to make an extra key so they can deliver. I ain't even finna go in on them right now. All right, I can't keep, oh shit, I can't keep wasting my energy on that bullshit. Like, ain't that some fuck shit? What else? Let me think of anything else. In the, um, besides that, this apartment's cool. Like I said, it's a little ratchet. You know what I'm saying? All the black folks live over here. Um, I ain't got shit in here. As y'all can see, I got a, a, a modem and a router over there. I can't even have no hoes over here. We're going to have to sit on this hard-ass floor. Um, but I'm not even finna furnish this place. That, that'd just be a waste of fucking time. As soon as my lease is over, I'm going somewhere else. All right, because like I said, I'm in South Dallas right now. Um, a lot of people been telling me to check out like North Dallas and like East, East Dallas, like what they say, like Deep Ellum. I ain't never been there before, but they told me to go check that spot out. So maybe I'll move over in that direction because there ain't shit over here where I'm living at. But some fucking apartments with no washer and dryer and roaches. Um, yeah, besides that, y'all, Dallas is cool. Like, honestly, I like it a lot better than Iowa. I don't really ever see myself moving back to Iowa, but... You know, maybe once I run up a couple mil, I'll go back there and buy some goddamn houses and some farmland and, you know, live in the cold fucking snow. <laughs> I doubt it. But anyways, best of luck to everybody. I hope everybody, you know, following y'all dreams, doing what the fuck you got to do. Because I'm down here living in Dallas, figuring my shit out. All right, I'm Elomar. I'm Iowa's Finest, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.